Hi, are you struggling with feelings of bitterness towards God? Life can be tough, and sometimes it's hard to understand why we're going through difficult times. In the Bible, there's a Hebrew word for bitterness. It's called Mara. But here's the thing. Even if you're feeling bitter toward God, He can still use you. Watch this video and be encouraged. I know I've certainly felt that anger before. I remember one day as a teenager, I was so angry that I even threw a Dutch apple pie at the window. Yes, in Holland, a Dutch apple pie. But let me tell you, God can use even our anger for good. Take the children of Israel, for example. After crossing the Red Sea, they wandered through the desert for three days without finding any water. Finally, they came across a well called Mara. The water there was so bitter, they couldn't drink it. Mara means bitter, but it also means to be contemptuous and defiant toward God. In Deuteronomy 1 verse 27, we are told that the Israelites would grumble in their tents, thinking that Moses had led them out of Egypt just to hand them over to their enemies, the Amorites, to destroy them. The word Mara is so powerful that in Deuteronomy 21 verse 18, the nation of Israel was instructed to kill any son who was Mara bitter and obstinate like that. But God didn't abandon his people, even when they were angry with him. The book of Ruth tells us about Naomi, a woman who had every reason to be bitter. She had been married, but because of a famine, she and her family had to flee to Moab, a foreign land about 20 miles east of their hometown, Bethlehem. Her husband and sons died while they were living in Moab. When Naomi decided to return to Bethlehem, she told everyone to call her Mara because she felt that God had dealt bitterly with her. But even in her bitterness, God was at work. Ruth, one of Naomi's daughters-in-law, married Boaz, a wealthy landowner. And from that union eventually came David, the great king of Israel. And from David's line, of course, came our Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you're feeling bitter towards God, take heart. He can use even the most difficult parts of our lives for good. I encourage you to watch this short video to see how God uses our struggles and challenges to shape us into who he wants us to be. May God bless you and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.